today is my son's heavenly birthday. We just had a balloon release for him in Hayward, California today because we wanted to be down here in Oakland with Kat and the rest of the family. Thank you. You know, I just praise God for the people and the mothers, Yolanda, and you know, my ride to die, D.I. <laughs> Smith Downs, and Uncle Bobby and Aunt B, which I call the queen and the king of the yeah. movement. That's me, amen. And, um, you know, there are many more, you know. Um, Mario Woods, Mom, Gwen, Wanda, I don't want to call names, but the Clarks, you know, and just all the families that have been impacted yeah. by this gun violence, period. And state is the worst, but all is the worst because we, we, we lose our loved ones. Yes, we do. That's something we can't bring back. We can't bring them back. But we can keep their spirit alive. Yeah. We can keep their spirit alive. Yeah. We can do things to honor them, yeah. to lift them up, yeah. because they were all good, because God make everything what? Good. good. So I just want to say that he was uh, executed by Officer David Wells in Stockton, California, August the 16th, 2016 a month like or so before his birthday which we were planning a big thing then so in his spirit we always try to do it big because he used to always say just do it big mom just do it big if it ain't but five people just do it big <laughs> and then he say like that's all the chicken you gonna fry and he'd be like mom you gotta fry another pack of chicken i'm going to get it i <laughs> do it big just do it big. Do it big for your loved one. Yes. Lift your loved one up. Yes. Because they didn't deserve it. I just talked to my children's uncle on this afternoon. And he said that a good friend of Pat's, which is Charmaine, she lost her son last night in LA at a party. He got shot in the back. And when he tried to run, they shot him in the head. So I'm asking y'all to pray for her, pray for their family, because the house was crazy today. We couldn't even talk to them. You know how it be. You, you, you know, you're just trying to receive everything that's coming in, and you don't really know what happened, what's going on. You're trying to figure it out. But I just ask, I solicit your prayers for that family on this day. And then I just want to say that um, we all seeking justice. And if we can get these officers tried, charged, convicted, and jailed, that's what we intend to do. Yes. We want the killer cops off the street. Yes. We don't want them in our communities. We don't want them. Uh, watching over our children. We don't want them coming want with their little trinkets we at Halloween, talking about trick, uh, uh, trick or treat in a trunk or treat. The police, forget that. Don't take your kids to that stuff. Don't take your children because the first thing they doing is uh, writing y'all family name down, getting y'all address, and they already marking who you are. So I just want to encourage everyone that's here today under the sound of my voice. The, no justice. No, no justice. peace. No justice. No peace. When we get justice for every family that have been uh, affected directly and impacted by this terrorism, then that's when we know that justice have been won. Thank you. Woo!